hello guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is faith or johnny and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so in today's video i'll be talking about my expectations and my reality moving to the uk from nigeria as we all know if you're moving to a different location a different country entirely you should have a certain expectation or like things you've imagined in your head of how the place is going to be how the people are i guess i'm not alone in this so i had crazy expectation guys and i want to share it with you guys now that i'm here i'm facing the reality okay so the things i imagined in my head for uk to be like is it the same so without saying so much guys let's get right into the video <music> My number one expectation uh, as in this one is the number one because it's always on my mind when i was moving to the uk guess what i was thinking that okay when i got when i get to the uk maybe i get a new apartment like the people like my neighbors are gonna come welcoming me like knocking on my door bringing cakes and drink telling me welcome to the neighborhood um i will blame movies yeah mm. i watch too much movies <laughs> i was thinking i'll be welcome like the whole neighbors will come around be like hey my name is this nice welcome to the neighborhood it's nice to have you here and like immediately start making friends you get like start getting to know my neighbors <clears throat> it's not like that it's not like that guys like nobody even i don't even know my neighbors or opposite my apartment i don't know them i don't know anything i think most of the times the only way i get to see my neighbors is through the window yes <laughs> so maybe when i'm in the city room i'll just look through my window i'll just see someone pass i'll tell my husband yeah i think is this person our neighbor does he live in this building no. like coming from nigeria we are more of a people's person there's no way you will live in nigeria that you will not know your neighbors ah. in fact your neighbors automatically becomes your friends and your family like you guys are like this like five and six but here in the uk this is my second apartment and i didn't i've not bonded with any neighbor i don't even know them so it's different and it's really heartbreaking because i wasn't expecting this kind of coldness towards me well i was told that uk people are reserved people they like to keep to themselves like mind their business i didn't know i guess that this is my reality now if you're coming to the uk and you have the same expectation guys just let it go <sighs> number two expectations guys so i've always imagined uk like to be like all flowers garden colorful beautiful flowers you know like the movies again i'm blaming the movies i watch too much foreign movies <laughs> but look this one is not far from reality though uk is like a very beautiful place during spring like it was beautiful they have a lot of flowers plants like they are flower lovers like so it's not far from like what i imagined was the same almost the same just that the one i imagined in my head was overly exaggerated well i say like it was over the moon like do i expect like there would no not be buildings that everywhere would just be flowers like so but this was not far from expectation and i'm really really happy like it's a beautiful place because i'm a picture freak i want that anytime i'm taking my photos i like beautiful things at the background you get okay so yeah the next expectation i thought that working in the uk will be chilling i used to feel like how hard can it be to work in the uk i'm very sure uh working in the uk won't be that stressful it will be chilling like the weather is not so hot unlike nigeria that even if you're in the office you'll be sweating the heat and all that makes you really frustrated like working in a cold environment will be chilling plus the white people seem to be very chilling people so working in the uk won't be so stressful 
god like guys working in nigeria is chilling because here is like if they are paying you for eight hours work you are working eight hours like you can't sneak out you can't like disappear you will be busy working for eight hours maybe it's the kind of job i'm doing though but i don't think working in the uk is chilling they really work hard in this country it's not it wasn't what i expected so in reality working here is way stressful than working back home like it's stressful i don't know because like here in the uk they see you guys as equals any job that a man is doing is the same thing that the woman will do in nigeria it's not like that in nigeria they sort of allocate jobs the easier ones they give to the ladies and the harder one they give to the guys but in the uk they give you guys the same thing so any job that a guy is doing a lady too is doing it they say it's it equals it's not good <laughs> look i'm lifting 20 kg of boxes at work the same as the guys like no but like they don't even it's crazy man so the equal right here mm -hmm. I, the next expectation and i was thinking that when i get to the uk that just like i will get a job like a dream job a career job something like without wasting time uh reality it is not easy to get a job in the uk it is not easy especially if you don't have the uk work experience it is not easy to get a career job here in the uk trust me you need to go uh, either do apprenticeship and gain more experience or you need to take some courses even when you even take some courses you still don't have the experience they are more keen on the experience like get the experience before you can start thinking of getting your dream job so i wasn't expecting it to be like that i was thinking getting a job here in the uk won't be so difficult but yes it's not easy with no experience while i was in nigeria i really didn't work so much even if i worked in nigeria i can't use the work experience here in the uk i require uk experience and most company no company want to risk like hiring someone of a newbie so most your best bet is just to go get apprenticeship and learn on the job so yes that is my reality guys <laughs> the next reality oh i felt like making friends in the uk is a lot easier and that you will meet more loyal girl loyal friends uh, more friends that are no dramatic no drama mm -mm, it wasn't like that look i've not even spent one year in the uk and i already have i already had one fallout with a friend okay so i met this girl on facebook we became friends and she invited me to her birthday party i went to the birthday party looking all sexy and i'm a social person just because i talk to people in at a party does not mean i like them there was this guy she had a crush on but the guy was talking to me the reason why he was even talking to me was because i was into media before i left nigeria i was into filmmaking and all that into production so i have like you know i'm um, like entertainment background i did i have my diploma in performing and media arts he was talking to me about you know me checking out his, his video if i think the edit was nice we we practically did not even talk about ourselves we we're just talking about his music video and entertainment as a whole and after the party i left i went home and the next morning i woke up and i got a message from her telling me i was seducing her man and i'm like what is going on i thought friendship in the uk is different okay this is the drama i don't want is this drama no 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 like i was shocked i like hey babe i told you i am married with a baby like why would i want to seduce you man why like like it was such an insult such a disrespect Omo, i was so mad i had to show my husband the messages and i told my husband like i'm cutting her off like immediately i just responded to her like you know what like this 
everything you just said was so disrespectful and i didn't expect it from you i just deleted her number in fact i blocked her first deleted her number and that was it we never spoke till date i love making friends and i don't just see people once you're my friend i just don't see you as a friend i see you beyond that i want us to grow together i want us to do stuff together like i love my friends genuinely like i love them like that's what i'm looking for but it didn't happen i was like okay i'm sticking to my husband being my best friend obviously right now he's the only best friend i have like i tell him everything so i'm sure he's tired already i'm not giving up on friendship i know there are crazy ones out there but hopefully i meet someone that we can bond and you know thaw the uk together i guess friendship is the same everywhere in the world no matter where you are you meet the same crazy dramatic people <laughs> So anywhere you are in the world, please do not lose guard. Just, you know, guard your heart and your space. The next expectation is that I was expecting the UK to be more of a no scam, you know? You know the kind of, you waking up in the morning and getting messages telling you uh, your ATM has been hacked, all this thing, drop your pin. I wasn't expecting that at all in the uk i was thinking ah oh, the uk the, the their security system should be tight it won't be easy to scam people oh hey hmm. i did not even spend one month they almost collected my money <laughs> guys that is a story for another day i think i'll have to make a video on how i almost got scammed guys i've given them my atm numbers my birth dates um my birth date my address i've given them practically everything do you know what it was left is the cvv that is the only number that was left that i did not give to them my money would have phew, immediately i had to change i had to apply for a new card and i destroyed that one the scam calls i've received in the uk is way more than the ones i've received while i was in nigeria for almost all my life like guys they keep calling me emailing text message scary ones like how do you guys survive i don't know how they got my numbers but i'm thinking it's from all those job search so if you're new to the uk or you just moved to the uk please no lose guard though there is scam everywhere like the uk one is even crazy like because you're not used to their system you don't know how things works in the uk you might easily want to fall for scam see anybody can fall for scam no matter how smart you are trust me you can easily fall for this thing so anytime you get a call from anybody asking for some personal information and you're not sure of it feel free to hang up the phone don't be scared hang up the phone go and do your research look i will have to talk about my story on how my husband and i were almost got scam we had a lot of scam call now the calls have reduced i think they gave up on me because they keep calling keep calling and i keep telling them please stop calling me so they stop calling me now so but that first three months it was crazy i was getting calls every day and because i was applying for jobs i was thinking it's one of those companies that are calling me for interviews or something so anyway this is my reality my expectation coming to the uk i was expecting that you know the uk will all be you know there won't be beggars on the road they won't be like everybody is like prim and proper like everybody is comfortable no people like reality peckham is like oshodi <laughs> i don't know if you stay in lagos you've been to oshodi have you been to peckham i wasn't expecting somewhere like Oshodi in the UK so they call I call it London Oshodi have you been to um uh, West Croydon West Croydon is like Ajegunle <laughs> okay let me know exaggerated but this this place places are like really I don't know like Lagos you know I wasn't expecting anything like that in the UK I wasn't expecting you know all these guys walking up to you give me money like pay my tea fare and all that i was like so there are beggars in the uk i didn't know that i was thinking everybody is comfortable everybody has uh, money everybody no beggars look 
I'm not saying people who are begging are bad or something. I'm just like saying like my expectation, like the things I I wasn't expecting it. So when I I saw it in the UK, I was shocked. Like, so it's reality. So obviously there are beggars everywhere. I don't know why I would think that. Like, I was expecting everywhere to be like London Bridge, <laughs> you know, <laughs> all those you know very beautiful places, but that is it anyway these are my real expectation and my reality i hope this video was fun to watch and i hope you didn't laugh me so much you'd be like oh future village girl i know but what do i know i've never traveled to the uk before so i imagined so many things in my head and anyway we've come to the end of this video if you liked this video please do not forget to give it a thumbs up like and subscribe comment share please i would like to know what was what is your own experience when you moved to the uk for the first time what were the things you expected and when you got to the uk what was your reality i want to laugh please comment down below thank you so much for watching bye